Time's going to be up for these corrupt Liberals. We all remember a couple of weeks ago where a brave steel worker confronted the Prime Minister and said, taxes are killing him, and he doesn't believe a single word the Prime Minister has to say. Are we going to invest in you and your job? I don't, I don't believe you for a second. And yet, the NDP keeps propping up this unpopular government. Why? Because their leader wants to keep his pension. Why is this NDP Liberal government so intent on raising the carbon tax and reducing workers' pay? The Honourable Minister for Innovation. Mr. Speaker, for all the Canadians watching at home, they will know what's up, Mr. Speaker. It's investment in the future of this country, Mr. Speaker. Right. Under this Liberal government, investment is up in decarbonization to make sure that our steel may would be productive, to make sure that our steel workers would have a job, to make sure that Canada would win in the economy of the 21st century, Mr. Speaker. Canadians know that what's up is to make sure that this government continues, that we make sure that we invest in them and we build the Canada of the 21st century. The Honourable Member from Dufferin Caledon. That minister has some nerve to talk about steel. Let me tell you this. I met with steel workers and the steel industry, and they have said if they quadruple the carbon tax like they plan, there will not be a single steel plant left in this country. That's his economic record. That's what he's doing to Canadians. And the carbon tax is not an environmental plan. It's a tax plan exactly. that's blowing a $35 billion hole into the Canadian economy every year. Workers are bringing home less. They're paying more. It's time for a change. Why don't they call a carbon tax election and let Canadians decide?